Hello and welcome to this new Terrain Breakdown in Gaia. Today we will take a look at a Mars-like surface, which you can see the final result here. This is the wall graph, it is divided as usual in two graphs, one for the terrain itself, for the shape, the other graph for the textures. Let's start by taking a look at the shape, and for this terrain I started out with a Badlands node. Badlands produce a rocky terrain, I modified the parameters, I changed the scale to 100, type to small features, and we have this result here. Then I connected a Carver LookDev node, so I have this uh, canyon-like structures. After that, I also added a Worstlands node, which create valleys. I also modified some parameters like the complexity and the chaos. I added a Shatter node with strength and collapses modified, as you can see here. And the Shatter is very useful to create debris and uh, to lower some features. After that, I used a Combine node to combine the two with uh, a, the method set to max, ratio 100%. So we have this result here with the valley on the right and the rocky surface here on the top. After that, I placed the canyonizer. I used the default preset subtle collapses, which creates, as the name implies, subtle cracks and uh, little canyons on the surface. If you take a look here, this is before and this is after the canyonizer. Then I placed the erosion, not so hard but neither so soft. In fact, I use a duration of 15%, rock softness 50%, almost default. But I increase the random sedimentation to get debris on the terrain. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, they are here, as well as some volume, which creates these dunes covered in debris. I placed the shaper node, and this change the terrain drastically. This is before. We have a nice valley. However, it doesn't look like it belongs to Mars. It looks like it belongs to some uh, Alpine region or something like that. After the shaper, we start to have some uh, alien planet looking uh, terrain. Here I, uh, I used uh, a 60% value of the shape toward the positive. After that, I place a shear look dev, same thing. It creates debris and stuff like that. Change some parameters. I also placed the stacks. Stacks create talus flow as well as uh, terraces and uh, stuff like that. If you take a look at the shaper, this is before, and this is with the stacks applied with some parameters modified, like encourage strong flow. So I get these nice uh, flows. They almost look like rivers, but they can also look like debris or cracks in the terrains that have been covered. After that, I combined with uh, the max method, ratio of 70%. If you take a look at these mountains here, they were two steeps. As you can see, we have uh, a lot of peaks that doesn't look well, so I use the shaper and made them look like uh, hills or uh, something like that. I also modified uh, the parameters. I enabled the local effect, so not so strong. It only affects the upper areas first, like the peaks. Then I use the to create uh, debris and uh, sedimentation along the terrain. So you can see, if you take a look uh, here, for example, I have the sedimentation. I also used the slope to create a mask for the sedimentation, so it only affects the white areas, 45 degrees. 
this is default parameters. After the sediment, nothing too fancy, I just change the talus settling as well as the db size because I wanted some rocks on the terrain. As you can see, this is before and this is after. Maybe if I zoom out, you can see it better. After that, I place a surface look dev to get more of a rough shape and to visualize the little rocks better. In fact, with the thermal, we have uh, the sand all over the place. With the surface, we now have some small rocks that come out of the sand. And this is the end of uh, the shape graph. I made a portal and here we have the textures. So started out, this is a very, very good node. One of the most used in my case alongside the soil node. Default parameters, nothing changed with a gradient that looks like uh, it belongs to Mars. I also reverse it because uh, the colors weren't in the places I want them to be. I place two soil nodes. So the first one, default parameters with the graded checked. You should always check the graded option in uh, nine cases out of 10. It will give you a nice gradient. And then I simply duplicated the soil change the power to 5, so half of the first one. And uh, we have this result here with a lot of details to have this texture with the white areas that uh, mixed with the gray rock. With a blend method, ratio of 80%, I also swap the inputs and I used a mask. The mask default parameters this is the result i placed a to create basically the sand with my previous mixer node and i used the slope again because i wanted the sand to only affect these white areas so basically the top portion where the sand actually deposits in real life this is the final result so before and after, and finally I connected my color FX node, and this is after some, uh, let's say, color correction. Okay, this is the end for this terrain breakdown. I hope you enjoyed this video. If that's the case, leave a like to support the channel. Subscribe to stay up to date with the latest contents. If you have any questions, comment below, and I'll see you in the next one. In the sky, gazing far into the night, I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through, it's true, baby let the light